all right all right all right intro song done transition done undefined on discord done hello everyone and welcome yeah. back yeah yeah we're back we're back it's been a month do you know it's actually a month since we last podcasted no way the last episode was april 23rd <laughs> Or twenty fifth, something like that. It's it's been a crazy month. Crazy near on. You don't want a podcast. That's crazy. I know. Everything's just been so busy. First, it was like, oh, a family member. We're gonna go somewhere. And then it's another friend's birthday. Then we have D and D on a Wednesday. And then I don't even. What was last week? I don't even remember what was last week. What did I do last week? I was just resting last week. <laughs> oh, you went to Disneyland. Oh yeah, I went to Disneyland. I was with Jessica. Yeah, yeah you didn't tell me that you were gonna you that we were not gonna do podcasts. I just uh, it was like seven thirty. You haven't told me anything. I was like, all right, buddy. All right, I guess we're not going to podcast. <laughs> yeah, if I don't say anything, we're not podcasting. That's pretty true. Yeah, yeah Breath of the, well, Breath of the Wild wasn't on a Wednesday. Well, oh yeah, I guess it was two weeks ago. When I wasn't, when we were for sure not podcasting, because I think you were busy that Wednesday, I think. So that's why I decided to play Breath of the Wild, question mark, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I probably said I was busy. If uh... It was like two weeks ago, two weeks ago, not last yeah, yeah, week. Yeah. Yeah. I, I probably, yeah, I probably said I was busy. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what I was doing two weeks ago, but I was probably busy. Yeah, that's okay. But that's, it's all good. We're finally back with the Neon Podcast. It's me and your boy, Kemp, you know, my... My bro side and king of my brosian. Uh, Hello, my brosif. How are how are you doing, man? Since the last time we've talked on stream, that wasn't D and D related. Uh, been alright. Uh, you know, gonna <laughs> live. Uh, I was at Chicago last week, and oh, uh, how was that actually? Oh. I totally forgot to ask you about it. All I just remember you seeing was you posting about food and you were like i want more deep dish pizza <laughs> dude okay so uh, i mean I, I didn't post the other pictures because uh i just forgot and i got lazy and i'm like i'm probably not gonna post them <laughs> oh wow <laughs> yeah, but, but 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 the saturday where i took like a bunch of pictures of uh, downtown uh it was very fun um i would love to go again um uh, i kind of made a mistake Ooh, you made uh, a mistake. What'd you do? Did you hit kill so, someone? So I, I went I went there for a for a card game tournament, right? Okay. But uh the following week was uh, Anime Central in, in the same convention center. Uh-huh. So this past weekend was Anime Central and uh, I should have gone. <laughs> I really should have just gone. I should just like uh either stay there for a week or like came back. Damn, dude. I think, what, I think it would have been really fun. <laughs> what 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 exactly is Anime Central? It's like That's is like, it just another convention like AX in the in the yeah, in Chicago? It's like, it's like Anime Expo but in Chicago. Oh, is the convention yeah. center big? Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty it's a pretty good size honestly. It, I it was a pretty good convention center nice so yeah. like i only know two i only know a couple conventions eh, hold on i'm like burping because i just ate dinner but i only know a couple convention centers so i know like la la is huge i know anaheim riverside santa clara and sacramento yeah they're all california yeah the, uh, yeah 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 <laughs> but i know anaheim is smaller than it is la a little bit smaller. yep so and Riverside's for sure smaller than Anaheim. So yeah. relative to Anaheim, how big is Chicago's convention center? I want to say. Uh, oh, and Long uh, Beach. There's Long Beach Convention Center. Of course. I want to say smaller, but not that much smaller. Okay, so similarly sized to Anaheim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say like kind of like Anaheim, but oh, the okay. That's not. That's yeah, still pretty big uh, though. I, I, I like convention center is big, but like its location is awful. Oh right. yeah, I mean, I mean, it has Anaheim. To. Anaheim is like a pretty solid location. You have the like, you have Disneyland right there. Um, That's about Disney, it, honestly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you have all the. There's a bunch of places around Disneyland, right? Yeah, yeah. L.A. is like you. You gotta like you kind of gotta go to like little Tokyo or like you have to, you have to drive like uh, a ways, maybe like a good like fifteen twenty minutes, give or take traffic. Right. Right. Um, Long Beach is uh, you have like the Pike right there, right? What is that? Is that is that right? The Pike? Yeah, the Pike. Yeah, it's right there, downtown Long Beach. It's literally Pike's, there. Pike is pretty good. What's um, a... uh, I wouldn't say it's better than uh, 
Oh, right it's def- it's definitely on the smaller side of convention yeah. centers. That's why yes. it out of all the convention centers, I would say Long Beach is probably the smallest one. Yeah, it's the smallest one, but I, I think the location is really nice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah like placement wise, geographically, yeah, it's good. It's great. Um, this uh, the one I went to the it's like very close to the <laughs> airport. I wouldn't say very close, but it's like it's convenient to the airport, right? Mm, okay. Yeah, and then the hotel I got was literally across the street from the convention center. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Which one has also also a very nice hotel? <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I bet I'm sure you got one of the nicer hotels. Like you wouldn't cheap out on a hotel at this point, right? Uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was it, the, the the this time it just happened to be cheap and uh nice convenient so maybe it's the neighborhood i don't know uh yeah maybe Maybe. Uh, i don't know but either either way the the the, the location i said was like very nice i would love to go back no that's good dude that's good yeah like the metro is right there so i didn't really have to uber any i I didn't uber at all this this uh this stay i just uh took the train very nice Gotcha, gotcha. Brish, which one, which which one have you been to? Which convention center? I'm assuming you think Long Beach because that's one we talked about a lot, um, or Chicago. But either way, let me know which one. Um, but yeah, I mean that's what. What else? What else did you do? Like you were there for how many days? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, three days, four nights. Oh, okay. That's pretty good, though. That's like yeah. obviously more than a weekend. That's like an extended weekend, you know? Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, because I, I I flew there Friday morning. I did some exploring by myself because my friends didn't get there until like nighttime. Um, that that's when I had the deep dish pizza by myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's uh, that's where it's at though. That's where it's at though. Yeah, no, deep dish pizza is a lot better when it's fresh. Uh, no one is like frozen, right? Yeah, because like even if it is frozen, you have to bake it in there for like fifty minutes. Make sure everything's yeah, no, all no, heated when, through. When, fucking when I I okay, it took me like twenty minutes for me to walk to this deep dish pizza place. I went to Giordano's. Okay. <clears throat> fucking, I went there. Uh, I was talking to a waitress and everything. I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and uh, fucking, I order, and she was like. Oh, your pizza is gonna take about fifty minutes. I was like, "Bruh, <laughs> you ordered yeah, because you ordered a whole pizza, right?" Yeah, that's not like a whole small pizza, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, because because deep dish they always gotta make it fresh, dude. They always uh, gotta make it fresh. Oh, but it was it was fire. It was fire. I waited fifty minutes. Um, I was watching some videos, talking to people, but uh, it was it was fire. Dude, that's good. That's good. Was that's not your first deep dish, right? I think it's my first fresh deep dish. Oh, okay. Yeah, fresh deep dish makes a huge difference. <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you, um, what I enjoyed more than deep dish was actually the hot dogs. In Chicago? Like off a cart or like at a restaurant? Yeah, I, I went to every hot dog stand I saw. I ordered a hot dog. Oh, my God. All right. So what's, what, is there a standard Chicago-style hot dog that you noticed around? Like... Yeah, you can, you can Google it. But uh, there's, a, there's a Chicago hot dog with it. It has the pickle, the tomatoes, the relish. All right, we're gonna uh, we're, that that will be brought up in the post podcast show. Chicago like poppy, poppy seed bun or something like that. I don't know. It was good though. It was it was pretty good. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Just hot dogs, you know. They got it. You always got to get that glizzy, you know. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I went to the Portillos there. I was gonna say, it was like, did you go to Portillos? I remember the when we hung out when you came back. I didn't ask about Portillos. I did go to Portillo's. I actually went to Portillo's, and this past weekend, I went to the Portillo's at Buena Park because my friends really wanted to go. Wait, there's a Portillo's here? We have one in Buena Park. Yeah, but we ha- I didn't even know there was one here at all. Yeah, I didn't know that until recently. Either. I only like, uh, assumed that was like, a Chicago like, like, thing. Yeah, before. I think it was the only one over here. But yeah, we do have a Portillo's. It was funny because when I walked into the one at Buena Park, it was uh, very similar to the one <laughs> It's like the vibe was uh, very similar to the one in Chicago. Oh, or the one in downtown Chicago, at least. They got to recreate it. The, the, you got to know that you're in Chicago now, you know? Yeah, it was very cool. It's like um, it's like a chain. You got to make sure you recreate everything about the original in, uh, in uh, Chicago. Bring it over here to the to L.A., you know? Yeah, it's like they took the downtown Chicago one and put it in Buena Park. It's very funny. They, even served, they, they also served beer in both of them. <laughs> nice, dude. Did, but yeah. did you order... The 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 famous chocolate cake shake, I did. Oh, how I, was it? Was it too thick? No, no, it was it was really good. Um, 
My mistake was getting a large. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, a large. Sorry, sorry, guys. We're making you hungry. This is pretty standard for us to talk about food if you haven't hey, been on large. the podcast. In a while. I, I got a fucking large cake shake. I think it was like a fucking 7 Eleven big gulp. I was going to say, oh, that shit is a big gulp. That was what I was going to compare yeah. it to. Or like the, the yeah. OD size from. Uh, from uh oko <laughs> yeah it, it, it i it was like a it was like a 40 50 minute train ride back i i it took the whole train ride back for me to like finish it <laughs> damn you the fact that you even finished it is a lot bro that shit is yeah. like a whole day's worth of calories in a cup yeah my doctor hates me <laughs> <laughs> doctor hates me yeah Okay, other than the shake though, what else was at Portillo's? Did you get like chili stuff or what? I I got I got a beef sandwich. Ooh, beef dip or uh, just a beef sandwich? It's the it's like their beef sandwich. Uh, so they're like famous for like their beef sandwich and their hot dogs, right? Right, right. Yeah, um, I got the beef sandwich because uh, I was getting hot dogs all day. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I need more meat. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought the beef sandwich is okay. Mostly, that's okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm yeah. glad you enjoyed your food. Like those are like probably the two staples that I would think of if I were going to go to Chicago: deep dish and Portillos. But yep. now that I know we have a Portillos here, I'm like, fuck that, dude. Just give me deep dish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I've had deep dog, dish before, so yeah. I I thought the hot dog was in the Chicago one was better, but uh, I don't think it was like much of a difference, honestly. I mean, my, the one I had was in the Bay Area. Like, that, I think they were originally in Chicago, but yeah. Yeah. Hi, Melina. How are you? So the, oh, they have one in Bay Area, too. Oh, oh, Giro, whatever? No, Portillo's. What? <laughs> Do they have one? What? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought that's what you're talking about. Oh, no, no. I'm talking about uh, Deep Dish. Deep Dish. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like Deep Dish places if you look hard enough, right? Oh yeah, my Justin's the one who introduced me to it. There's like a chain up there. There's like three three of the same chain. They're so good. I love going. That was my bar for deep dish because I got introduced to it in college. All right, Millie just ate dinner. Time to game. Hey, good luck with your games, Melina. Thank you for good stopping luck, by. Millie. Good luck, good luck. Tochu, does deep dish help you make friends? Um, I made good friends with my server. She was, <laughs> she, was she was great. She Wonderful was server. I mean, I feel like if you're sitting there for like 45 minutes plus, you know, I feel like that. Yeah, she was making sure I stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we, we, we're baking this whole pizza for you. Better not fucking leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here trying to like watch like VTuber Club and she'll like show up like every like five or 10 minutes. So I'm like, oh, hey, I'm here. And you'd be like, oh, oh, you watch Sui Sui too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good thing I ordered a salad, dude. Uh, help kill time. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Did you finish the whole thing though? How big is a small? Like how many inches across? Would you say? I don't know. I don't know. It was like six slices though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, maybe like probably like 10, 12 inches. Maybe, yeah, maybe like 10, 12 inches in diameter. Sure, Damn, dude. That's, that's about right. Yeah. You didn't eat all I of got, it, like, did you? I got like a half and half. It was, uh, it was like Chicago style and the, the, the meat lovers one. Oh, so you had to like two different sauces. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, I think it was like the same or similar sauce, but like that was like the toppings inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the sauce is the same. It's like how they mix the sauce, you know? Right. But yes. Yeah, so it was good though. And I all... finished mm -hmm. four slices. Damn, dude. that's a And you... then I just brought it back. Damn, you have a big appetite. <laughs> Dude, if I if dude, I I probably could have finished it, but but I don't know if I would have made it home if I finished. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, Tato Uchi, yeah, we're, we'll 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 get to the larger topic at hand. You know, we'll we'll get to that. Um, if if at all, sometimes we don't even get to the what the title of the episode is. You know, <laughs> that, that's oh, happened like making, five times. Making new friends is hard. Yeah, making new friends is hard, dude. Why are you trying to make new friends? You have me. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, bro. All right, bro. So, all right. Tell me why you, I don't need new friends because I have you. Let me hear. All right. Let me hear it, bro. You you got yourself into here. Now you have to get yourself out. What is it? Come on, bro. Come on. You got to give me hard, hard evidential facts now. <laughs> this, I'm grilling you. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't need other people. I'm, I'm entertaining enough. Dude. Don't, you send, don't you send me memes all day? I do. I'm the only I, one you need to send memes to all day. 
<laughs> well, you don't you don't know that actually. <laughs> I send memes Only to me. a lot of people. <laughs> just me. <laughs> Only Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm the only one. Oh my god. And yeah, Bresh too, for real, for real. You only have you have me. Uh yeah. guys, I, I send memes to other people too. <laughs> um anything else you want to know about Chicago? I mean I, the the trans all right, let's talk about let's let's wrap up Chicago and then we'll get into the, the new friends shit. Um how's the how's the transit and stuff system over there? Is it like complex? Is it clean? Is it is it on time? The most important aspect. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really care about the time, but uh, it was it was it was reliable until it wasn't reliable. I mean, uh, I guess there was something that happened on that Saturday where uh, it didn't take me straight to Millennium Park. Mm -hmm. I had to get off and take a shuttle and then get back on the train. But I guess that was like a one-off thing. But other than that, the train was convenient. If you want to go to downtown. Oh, that's good. I mean, were you primarily in downtown? Like the whole yeah, the whole weekend? No, no, no. no. Um, I was at the convention center on Sunday, which is next to my hotel. And then on Saturday, we went to downtown. And oh. Friday, I was just like around the area too, which is uh, around the convention center. Mm, mm. So I just had one day to explore downtown, which was very fun though. Wish had another day. Nice. That's <laughs> you mean you wish you had another week, right? <laughs> yeah, so I could have been anime central instead. Fuck. Would you would you <laughs> actually fly back just for the would have you actually if you knew to fly back the following weekend? If I had like would you I would've actually just, I would have just stayed for like oh another week, honestly. I would have just stayed for another How week. How do you have that much time available to you to be take off, bro? What? Oh, I mean, I just tell people to cover my shift. Yeah, for a whole week? Damn, that's crazy. Um, honestly, my job is super flexible if I want to travel. Damn, I'm jealous. We're, 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 we're going, we're go aren't, aren't we going to Vancouver next week? We are. We are going. Yeah. We're, we're leaving a week from tomorrow. Exactly. Like, I just went on a weekend trip, and I'm going on another week trip. Yeah, but I'm not getting someone to cover me. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm saying that that that's like one of the perks of my job. It's just oh, yeah, that's convenient. Nice. Come see me. You gotta come see us, Brish. Um, we don't have vehicles, dude. <laughs> We're getting driven around everywhere, pretty much. Oh, if not transiting. What was a dark place? Are, are you in Vancouver? Yeah, that's Brish. He's he's in Edmonton, so not oh, Vancouver, I know. but I don't know how far that is. Yeah, Alberta. Yeah, whatever. Oh, he's, he's the he's ah. he's the next province province over, right? I is don't know. It, I don't know. I don't know how to. Is... Go ahead. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, so I mean, we're we're gonna be there next week. So that mm. I'm excited for that. Oh man! Yeah. So funny come thing through, is, buddy. yeah, come through. We we gotta we, we're gonna be doing stuff. Um, yeah. so it's funny, right? Mm -hmm. I booked the the flight tickets for me and anthony to go and we're flying uh out on thursday morning but yeah. i only told work i i t that i was taking off friday right oh no he's gonna call off on thursday or what <laughs> yeah, yeah i was going to i was legit going to uh -huh. but then what happened was i found out that we're moving our lease in our current office we're moving to this new office that we bought and we're are currently uh uh, renovating mm -hmm. our lease ends up at the end of the month which is wednesday uh may 31st mm -hmm. and so we were like hey so you guys can just work from home for thursday friday and then come to the uh, new office on monday i'm like cool i don't even have to call off anymore <laughs> as long as no one needs me in the three hours that i'm on the flight i'm good <laughs> I'm good. I'll I'll take my work laptop. Obviously, I'll be taking my work laptop and stuff home. But um man, it I I was like really hoping that it worked out this way and it did. And I was like if I if it didn't work out that way, then I would have uh scheduled the other the other day that Thursday off. But now I'm just like, yeah, dude, I'm going to be in Vancouver and I don't have to waste any fucking hours uh, like or I don't have to take an unpaid day off for uh, that Thursday. I'm just like, yes, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. 
So uh, it works out for me. Wait, you're still flying on Thursday, though, right? Yes, the f- the flight does not change. Okay, wait. Okay, sure. Yeah, it was just the hour, the hours of actual work time. So now I'm gonna be in. I'll be en route to Vancouver. Like I'll check my phone before the flight, then I'll check my phone as soon as I land. Other than you know meeting up with Mitch, who's you know picking us from the airport. Uh, but yeah, I I as long as no one needs me <laughs> Wait, is, 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 is mitch driving or um no mitch is taking the transit oh she's she, she, she's gonna meet you guys at the airport yes, or yes, yes, yes. Us, or, uh, actually i don't know where i'll be but i'll be somewhere <laughs> i'll need you do you brish do you <laughs> do you need me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. damn that's crazy you need me <laughs> who needs me whoever <laughs> needs me let's be honest here um but yeah that's that's gonna be happening and yeah, we'll we'll be making new friends in Vancouver. Yeah, we'll, like Kev, you'll be meeting a lot of them because the only person you really know there is gonna be like Mitch and Justin. And well, Anthony doesn't count because he's flying with me. What do you mean? Why do you mean you don't count? I mean, you already know us. Like making new friends, you'll be you're gonna meet a lot of people for the first time because you don't no. really interact with the rest of the server, anyways. Yeah, no, I have it muted. <laughs> i mean i i assume that yeah that's pretty yeah. obvious but like yeah. you'll get to meet a lot of people i'll say like at least seven <laughs> hopefully oh well, maybe not seven maybe like five the the oh, first because you're only there for the first night um yeah, yeah i'll be there for the first night in like probably like lunch or something yeah again the next day yeah maybe maybe seven maybe seven then maybe yeah. five for sure the first night but uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day hopefully uh or weekend so we're looking forward to that general like we already i like how we just made the itinerary and then we just haven't talked about it for like the past two weeks (laughs) like that's how short and efficient our trip is gonna end up being well you're gonna be there thursday friday saturday right yeah and then we fly out sunday morning sunday morning yeah uh yeah three three days is uh not bad yeah, where has everyone been? How planned? What do you mean, how planned? <laughs> what do you mean? We've planned. Is, we already planned our trip. Yeah, what is planning? Yeah, but uh, I mean, for a short trip, I'm okay with like having an itinerary. Unlike where, where Japan, right? I'm like, I like having a loose itinerary unless I have reservations somewhere, right? Um, and then I like definitely want a rest day. But like Vancouver, I'm like, fuck it, we're gonna be partying like almost every night um and then yeah it's 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 gonna be uh it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time you know we'll make new friends so are right. you've been to vancouver before though this isn't your first this is like your what third second my, my second time i was in vancouver back in november okay so when i was in seattle yeah. when yeah right before i went to seattle you were in vancouver uh, hasn't even been a year yet yeah so yeah look at look at us dude look at us traveling the world <laughs> slash north america yeah yeah texas texas soon texas soon texas wait who said that me oh sure you want to go yeah let's go let's go see mark we'll go see melina melina's probably playing valorant right now popping heads oh, austin right yeah we'll go see melina also in austin i think so she's somewhere in Texas. I, I, i'm yeah like they're both in austin i think not to dox them or anything. Austin's a big ass city, but still, <laughs> sure. I'm gonna order one of Melina's cakes. <laughs> if we ever visit, that's what I'm doing for sure. She, she sells cake. So yeah, like not necessarily my story to tell, but I mean I might as well publicize it. If you see uh, uh Millie Zilla in the chat, and you're in Texas, she she has her own little small business thing, where she sells like little personalized cakes, and uh yeah, you order them. Right. Not. Okay. Did she sell cakes? Like, like cupcake or? Uh, like um, think of like a personal pan pizza, but like a cake. So it's a personal pan cake, personal cake. Yeah, interesting. Yes, yes, they look good. Millie knows how to decorate, and uh, yeah, you can have like whatever. I'm gonna be like so complex and be like, Melina, draw my VTuber on my cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she she designs it and stuff too. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. 
Yeah, yeah. So I'd be laughing if she's playing a game and she's actually lurking and listening with with my thing in the background. I'd be like, Melina, be like, stop, stop saying my name. Why are they saying my name? Cake, please. Cake, please. <laughs> Onegaishimasu. Cake, cake, cake desu. Ikko kudasai. Oh, sorry, two of them. Nikko kudasai. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I will Oh, well, well, Mark's there too. Sanko kudasai. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope Mark's doing well. I haven't seen him in, since before he left, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, yeah, I think I was like the last non-family member he saw before leaving. I think. Maybe. Maybe. I could be wrong, but I think that... I don't remember if that's what he said I was, or I was one of one of the last few people that he saw. But yeah. yeah, and he was like... I don't even remember what we got for food. What did we get for food? We got... We got... Because got... you, weren't, you weren't there, right? I wasn't there. I don't think you were there. I thought we got Icon. Icon. With uh, with Christian. Gotta go to school tomorrow. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Bridge. You have get get some rest. Good luck at school tomorrow. Icon. What's Icon? The sushi place. We got. Was that was that really it? Oh, I'm pretty sure we got Icon. Oh, I could. I mean, you're probably right. Like honestly, like think my once in my life goes by fast. Days just start blending together, right? I remember conversations more than I do the actual activities that we do. Wow! Because I enjoy the people, and <laughs> and I, I'd rather I'm I'd rather keep the memories of the people in my head. I won't say rather. It's just sort of just how I uh, yeah, it's just, how I operate. It's how it is. <laughs> yeah, like I I remember conversations more than. The actual things that we did sometimes, unless the things that we did were so so damn memorable, um, <laughs> like Japan, like Japan, like I'm, I'm never I'm not gonna forget that shit. But I did forget like some of some of the activities that we did, like that weren't like mind boggling. So, but anyways, that's 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 a different story for another time. We'll we'll see them. Your baby cake's traveling the world right now. You know our other baby cake, Mark, who's not here, is in the fucking philippines again for like the 10th million time it's his homeland bro <laughs> is it his home his homeland is in my arms bro <laughs> oh, yeah that, that's what i said but you want to make more friends fuck you <laughs> hey, hey what the hey make it hey i didn't say making friends is easy though i said it's hard you just want more people in your arms I got big arms though. Not Yaoi man hands. I got big arms. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Chill. <laughs> How is it hard? And we will get to that. We will get to that. Um, I will get chill. to it. Chill, chill. So what's your step by step process? I don't think there's a step by step process because it depends who you're talking That's to, right? But process of making new friends so it's oh. like so here's 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 the thing and i thought about this as i was walking to my car from my office when i got off work was meeting people is not hard making new friends that's hard so there's a difference right there's like a step between so let me let me make this clear um in my in, this is how i process things in my head meeting new people can be anything like okay you got you got a new job you meet new people your work you go hang out with the friends that's like and you're or you go to a bar or something you go to a public space you can meet people but that doesn't make them your friends right right so right. it's like and you're just like sure you can it's like similar to what we had at uh um sup noodle bar right the um fuck what's her name madeline madeline at some noodle bar. I got to meet her. Are we friends? Uh, mm, debatable. So so context behind this. So two weeks ago, when me and Kemp's day off, I had, did I have the day? Oh, yeah, I had the day off. Um, like two weeks ago on a Tuesday, we decided to go get lunch in Orange County. It's a place called Sub Noodle Bar. It was like a fusion pho, uh, pho American, Asian American type of restaurant. Um, so we decided to go at the end of our meal, you know, we got pho, we got some like, uh, steak fries or whatever with cheese and sauce and whatever. And we got, we got some drinks. Um, and at the end of the meal, after we already paid our check, uh, one of the servers who wasn't even our server, we had like two different guy servers at the time. I don't even remember their name. 
But at the end of like the one of the girl servers or woman servant, whatever, she like he was like, let me. We we're just chilling there because me and Kim were just talking at the table. We already finished our meal, and she was like, oh, can we can I take these out of our way? Kind of, you know, you don't want that the finished food smell just lingering as you're talking, right? And we were like, oh yeah, it's okay. We appreciate that. And then, um, Kemp went to the bathroom, and I already. Like, you know, I was like, yeah, go to the bathroom, just chilling. And she was like, um, can I get you guys like any, any drinks like, uh, on the menu, you know, on the house, on me, on the house. I'm like, what? Really? I'm like, yeah, no problem. I'm like, we didn't do anything. She, like I said, this was like our, the second interaction. The first interaction was her taking some of our dishes away. And the second interaction, she was like, yeah, if you want to get you free drinks? I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, let me ask my friend when he gets back. I'm sure he would want to try something else on the menu. And then you came back and then obviously we got our free drinks. Um, each one were like, what, five bucks ish. So, I mean, yeah, it's free drinks. It's like $10 worth of drinks. So that was fucking awesome. Um, but I'm just like, so I was like, oh, you're a really nice person. And I, I feel bad that I wouldn't end up like remembering her somehow, some way other than maybe her name. I would have ended up forgetting her name. But I was like, oh, you know, I was like, oh, what's your name? After we got the drinks, I was like, oh, what's your name? You mind if I just add you on social media, you know, potentially keep in touch? You seem like a really nice person. It was like super bubbly, super nice. So I added her. Her name is Madeline. And um, yeah, so I was like, but ever since that interaction, we haven't really like interacted more. And that's already been two weeks. You know what I mean? She said she wasn't social on active active on social social on active active on socials anyways but the thing is you know i met that person am i friends with them that's different story you know what i mean like so for some people meeting people is easy and making friends making friends is easy but for me you know there's a distinct line of whether or not i can call you my friend um because you know I, I talk and interact with you either on a basis or just very comfortably if it's not on a regular basis, you know? Um, so, I mean, I don't know. What is is there a difference for you, Kemp, between meeting people, making friends, or, like, how you would categorize, like, an acquaintance or stuff like that? Everyone's an acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, you guys heard that? Everyone just got acquaintance zoned, bro. Everyone's an acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> You too, Nero. Damn, come on, <laughs> man. No, no. Got him. Got him. So Got much him. for being in your arms. Shit. Got him. <laughs> oh fuck, bro. We're fucking we're fucking done, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I mean, I, I I mean everyone's an acquaintance at first. Um I I, I don't yeah, you, you know, I'm not the kind of person that thinks too hard about this. <laughs> I, I I just know people, so uh, whether or not they're like friends or uh, good friends, is uh, I I treat them, I'll treat them well regardless. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, like I'll, I'll treat them as a friend until, uh, until I think they're an asshole. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. So I I, I give I give them benefit of doubt until until they're an asshole there you go so in your opinion so by your very basic philosophy are uh -huh. people nice until you're they're proven wrong yeah okay because i know yeah, something that, like that, go it, ahead. It, 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 it's definitely got me into uh not good situations <laughs> oh, okay yeah it, I, I wouldn't say it's like too trusting but oh yeah that's fine yeah, it's, I want to say it's like too trusting, but it's like you know, maybe, maybe I give them too much, uh, too much credit sometimes. Okay, okay, that's fair. That's why. That's why for me, it's like I still, I might, I still, kind of hate people, not in the same way as I used to, and I've tried to lean, try to give people a little bit more of that benefit of the doubt, because for me, I used to, to, like people are just dumb and unfriendly until they prove me wrong you know what i mean so it was like oh, the opposite I, way i i also think that i also think people are dumb but i think they're nice they're dumb and nice oh i think i think people are dumb and mean yeah so 
<laughs> uh, you are, you are, you are super jaded, man. <laughs> I, 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 I would say I was. I still sort of am, to be honest. But uh, you know, it's just also because I. Not even just at the time, but I'm still a little bit antisocial. But that leads to why we're talking about what we're talking about today, you know. Right. Um, so for me, right, I know a bunch of my close friends and people who followed me for, you know, say the last two years on social, maybe, maybe like even a year and a half on social. You know, it, it's been a rough, rough process of self improvement for me and trying to rebuild a, a support system. And, you know, who I can actually call a friend and who I can just tell stuff and random stories and my problems and rant to, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. But um, for me, just being able to get past that barrier, right? It's like, sure, I can talk to someone, but there's a point that even if I do talk to them, I might not consider them to that friend level of, oh, we only really like interact because there's other people in the call or like in a, in a, in a discord call or, uh, or playing a game. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're just that mutual friend and like mutual friend to me is just that, that acquaintance, you know, we're just, I've met you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. What do you, what? <laughs> you, wow. They're just, they're just always acquaintances. <laughs> they're just mutual. They're just mutual. Y'all yeah, are just mutual. Get, get mutual. <laughs> yeah, but you know it's also because not just because i'm jaded right but you, you know meeting people through the internet because we grew like i said i don't want to speak for you but i know i can speak for some people and include obviously including myself that meeting people on the via the internet is i wouldn't say a little scary because it depends you know there's so many different people you can meet and but it's the same thing where because there are so many people you can meet and different types of people that not you're obviously not going to click with everyone. And right. and because of that, it's like, I don't want to be that person who fakes out just because uh, because I see you often like I. OK, so. Wait, so how to get promoted from acquaintance up? Okay, so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Tatoshi. It's just being consistent, right? Um, In my opinion. Damn, he thinks you're inconsistent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, like, consistency... I realize this in, in, in my life. Consistency is one of the most important things in my life, is what I realized. And sure, I like the occasional excitement or the spice in my life, right? But for me, consistency is important because it knows that it shows that I I can understand your patterns or how you would react or or just predict. I won't say predictability, but that that's sort of with consistency. But it's just I know what I could go to you for reliability, you know. Um, I like reliable people. Obviously, I can go to them and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's just consistency. I'm like, okay, if you're if you're not gonna be able to show up here because of a certain thing, then you know what I mean. At least you have the reason, and you're like you're you're doing your own thing, and that's fine. I understand that. And you know, for people in let's say Twitch chat, right? Consistency for me, it's like, oh, I see you guys in chat. You know, I'll see your name. I didn't feel like it. Yeah, see, that's like, that's not consistent. Exactly. You get it. But for people in chat, it's like, oh, I'll see you guys on a general enough basis. Or like, oh, yeah, I remember your guys' usernames. I know what kind of generally memes or jokes you guys see or see me laugh at my my failures. And um, but what if you're consistently not feeling it? Uh, feeling like it well then that's well then that's still consistent but that's that's the thing like i would have to be able to learn that consistent inconsistency or whatever if you want to call it i don't know over time so remember that this is an overtime thing this isn't just like a one-off so for me it's just being able to be visible enough that i can understand your patterns and 
just who you are as a person, even at a very basic level. I'm like, okay, you're busy these certain days or like you're busy doing this hobby. You know, I'm like, that makes sense. That's being consistent on a very surface level. Whereas let's say I know Kemp, right? I know that Kemp will like certain pieces of art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um certain types of food <laughs> see like i knew he was gonna laugh at that shit right like i i just know i just like you just know because uh, and you know you, you can say that you can learn this about Kemp pretty easily but it's like i don't even have to say anything i don't even have to ask him sometimes i'm just like Kemp, i'm i'm doing this he went nice i'm like <laughs> that's, that's it that's it like and i'm sure he can say the same thing about me generally enough because I'm not uh I'm not a I'm not a person who would like what's the word I'm looking for? Spontaneously do something that's completely out of character. If I do something spontaneous, at least it's in character on brand, right, Kemp? Right. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know. That's how I view things. Um, how many friends would you say you have them? Um because what? yeah, because Two. <laughs> like two. Kemp is like two. It's me and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is consistently out of the country and doesn't tell me about his life. <laughs> yeah, consistently goes me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. And he's like, dude, you know what I want? Taco Bell and carne asada fries. <laughs> That's only me, yeah, right there. Right there. You guys want to play Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> um. So because I've had to to mature and change that definition of a friend, right, as of recently, I would say I have a good amount of friends, surprisingly. And I wouldn't say surprisingly because, you know, there was a point where I hated people and I didn't know who was a friend, right? But now, because I went through a lot of stuff and I've reevaluated myself and my values and my own consistencies, right, um, I would say I would, I have a pretty decent amount. I would say, yeah, a few dozen friends. Cause it's like, yeah, I send memes to a lot of people. I can rely on a bunch of people, not That's all great. for the same things, but I, th I think it's pretty good. Um, and I've it managed to build that up. So it does sound pretty good. Yeah. A few dozen out, like two, maybe th three dozen, depending on like you know how often but you know they'll they'll be like that best friend i'll talk to you once every four months but then it will act like nothing's changed you know it's still consistent <laughs> but i've known <laughs> but i've known them for like 15 years so you know it's it just it just works how about kemp um what do you mean how about kemp, kemp is kemp a friend <laughs> oh no how about you kemp how many friends do you friends you yeah yeah, yeah. Um, two. <laughs> I would say less than less than twenty or twenty-five. Less than twenty or twenty-five people I would consider my friends. Yeah, that's pretty. Or good. I guess. Oh, and, and like your definition, I guess. No, yeah, but like in your definition, what, let's let's all right, let's switch over to you. What is your definition of a friend, and then we'll go into your twenty to twenty-five. Uh, someone that I'm not uh nervous about. Well, someone I could just like you know like casually talk to, like someone I, I don't have to like get myself psyched up to talk to, right? Mm, okay. Right. You don't have to mentally prepare yourself for an interaction. Yeah. I could just casually go up to them and like, hey, what's up? Like meeting new people is a I wouldn't say I have to like psych myself up every time you do that, but like it, if the conversation goes long enough, I gotta like be like mentally strained <laughs> if that's the right thing. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I didn't know if you were done or not. Yeah, um, so, uh, so it would be a uh, something like that. Um, someone that I don't have to like, you know, think too hard about when I when I go talk to them and just say, "Hey, what's up? Shoot the shit, right?" Right, 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 right. 
That's why Kemp, Kemp will be like, hey, let's get food this week. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Something um, light, you know? Yeah, exactly. So does your number change from your definition versus my definition? Because like, I don't want to, I don't want to put force my definition upon you because obviously you, you, each person has their own definition. I keep using that fucking word. Their own way of, def- uh, how they define no, my, 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 mine is pretty similar i guess yeah probably probably like 20 25 people nice nice yeah. but yeah so out of, out of those people right let's say out of my few dozen you know let's say maybe like 20 to 30 for me like you're 20 25 very similar um out of those people how many have you been friends with longer than three years Because this 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 becomes an important question for me, and I'll and I'll t- and I'll tell you why after you figure out that number. Oh yeah, good, probably a good amount of them. Probably like most of them, maybe like fifteen. Fifteen, more than I three years. Know. Yeah. See, and then for me, I would say, from I would say like half of mine over the past three years. Mm-hmm. Um. So you know, about fifteen of maybe thirty. Um. Mm-hmm. But and. For me, right, the reason why I think this is such an important question is because, you know, just to reiterate my point earlier is, you know, consistency over time. If I can be for sure of how how you're going to be as a friend over the in the past, I'm pretty sure we're going to be pretty stable as a friendship going forward. Right. Whereas I'll have friends in the past two maybe even the last year that you know we might not have as deep of a friendship or as you know the longevity of it hasn't been proven yet but um it's just that you know they're they're the people i interact with a lot more often recently than maybe the people that i've been uh interacting with in a long uh that have longer Ten is, is tenure the right word? I don't even know if that's the right word. Longer interaction time with uh, um, more seniority as a friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seniority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My one friend is gonna call my. It's like people when people hang out with us, right? They're gonna call if they're my friend and you don't know them. They have to refer to you as Kemp Senpai. <laughs> seniority, actually, seniority. Actual seniority. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, that's just how it is for me because. You know how I said, like, I've had to rebuild my support system, right? That's where a lot of old fre- old acquaintances slash old friends came back into my life. And, you know, I've slowly got to meet new people, whether it was like uh, mutual friends on Discord or mutual friends in person or even just random interactions. I'm like, oh, you seem like you seem really cool. And we've just kept in touch. But... um yeah, for you, yours is like fifteen out of twenty, fifteen out of twenty-five ish. It's like it's a it's it's a higher yeah, percentage. I, I think it's a good number. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I I've always been like the kind of person that uh, once I find something I like, uh, I like to keep it for as long as possible. Mm-hmm. So I uh, kind of go with my friends. You know, I I try to uh, I try to keep good relations if I really like them. Yeah, man. That, well, it doesn't matter if you want to keep me, anyways. I'm you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're, you're in, <laughs> I'm in your arms. You're in mine, baby. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. I I don't remember. I think John talked about this. I don't know if you were here for that podcast episode. It was like if you were good friends with someone for or close friends with someone for at least seven years, that's pretty much a friend you'll have for life. Were you here when we talked about that? I don't know if you were there. I I, I do vaguely uh, remember that conversation. Yeah, we were just randomly talking about it in VC. No, you were. I think you were. I think we were just randomly talking about it one day and just discord just some random night. Um. Yeah, and he was like, oh, yeah, John. He's like, yeah, 
you're stuck with us now. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> we we just we're j we just hit seven years. It's over. <laughs> yeah, you can't. It's impossible to get rid of them now. Yeah, you and me, we're we're double that, dude. Fourteen years, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, really. Fourteen, bro. Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. That's crazy. God damn. God damn. Years. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So now, now that we've established what we've uh considered friends, right, and you know our own little definitions and whatnot, um. Why why is making new friends hard or why do I consider it make hard right is because I care about consistency right I don't want to be that person to spread myself thin being consistent for so many people at the same time so you know I said like 30 people but I'm not interacting with all 30 at the same time. You know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe like a handful at a time for like a day or a week or something. Then it's like, Oh, maybe I'll talk to my other, I'll talk to the other friends and stuff like that. But I don't, there's that, that fear of me burning out. Um, but the second part is the other half of that coin is, spreading myself thin and like i said the other side is more so just being able to have the time and effort to make those new friends right um and you know someone like i said it could be easy for someone you could just go out to a bar meet new people go to a sporting club event like you know a public rec league um stuff like that and meet people that way or just uh post on regional hangout stuff with people and meet people that way like you know like the fighting game community or you know maybe for you it's like the trading game uh community right trading game trading card game community uh -huh. and like you can meet people through that and i'm like that's cool and for me i personally like meeting people more organically through mutuals rather than um going out of my way and putting myself in a new entire entirely new scenario just to meet new people and that's just a personal preference and that's so basically i'm saying i make it hard for myself to make new friends yeah you, know? you like to you like to uh meet your friends friends and then uh try to make them your friends correct absolutely um because it's like if they're a friend of a friend, you know, there there's a reason why they're friends and there's a reason why we're friends. So there has to be some sort of nice. maybe a basis. <laughs> nice. Your friends are guinea pigs. <laughs> your friends. No, no, no. There's the yeah, they're the common denominator. They're not a guinea pig. No. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> they're the common denominator, bro. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh That's my funny. god! Oh uh, yeah, I, I get what you mean, though. But yeah, yeah. I mean that—that's how I because you know, growing up, I wasn't maybe except out maybe except maybe other than high school, I was super outgoing. I was pretty nerdy and recluse and sheltered growing up as a kid from up until high school. So I didn't have too many friends. Um that carried over for too long, um, maybe like two. Right. And then when I got to high school, you know, there's some people that I met that I'm still friends with now because, you know, key club. And I just was so eccentric at the time. But then when I got to college, I just dropped that demeanor and kind of attitude. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to meet people if they're similar and they're cool. But I never went out of my way to, uh, to meet new people and like, you know, I didn't have the confidence that that blind confidence that I did in high school just because I didn't give a fuck. And like, I was like this, this ignorant kid right now. I'm this somewhat more educated, experienced adult. And I'm like, yeah, time's time is of the essence guys. Don't waste my time. <laughs> now I got the brakes on. <laughs> yeah. I got <laughs> you got the brakes on. No, no more gas. Yeah, no, no more gas, dude. No more oh gas. God. Yeah, dude. Literally, I was going, I was like meeting people like through blind confidence of like just Key Club. Be like, oh, you're in Key Club, me too. Let's be friends. You know what I mean? 
Okay. Yeah, that's, that's basically how it was. That's how Key Club was back in the day. Before it became fucking like E girls and E boys and fucking what, hey, really? That's what it is now. That's what it became after it was like the generation after we left. Oh, it, it, be, it became a popularity contest sort of shit. It became toxic. I'm not wow. saying our generation wasn't toxic. It got more toxic. Wow. Um, yeah. That's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I I always thought these uh these college um circles have always been like a some kind of like social uh not say experiment, but like uh they're all they're all just like one big social uh social thing, and then like they they eventually all like devolve into that like uh, once everyone like leaves or like. Uh, Someone comes in. Yeah. They like groups start to get clicky. Yeah. Um yeah, and, and at the time especially in college for me, I didn't fall into uh any particular click. I was always like the floater. So that's yeah, why you, uh, you, you you you're able to fit in anywhere, but you didn't want to like stay anywhere or something like that, right? Yeah, I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere particular. Yeah. So right. That was just a personal thing. You know, that obviously hurt my confidence a little bit at the time. And I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't have that go to friend group. Um, and it was rough. Pro tag problems always floating. Shit. <laughs> I know, dude. God damn. Um, but, at, you know, at the at the same time, it's just. Um, you know, it, it was a mix of both my confidence and just my environment and i was like yeah i need to i need to reevaluate so i defaulted to when i came, after i graduated i defaulted back to my high school friends of course cuz you know that's where i was comfortable they were they've stuck around since high school i mean like why not but then it didn't take me until more recently to start branching out and actually start meeting new people and like slowly making my way out of my shell again and um bothering to you know make start conversations with people that i enjoy their their energy and their vibe and and their stuff and uh you know just going out and uh trying to do me after the pandemic the, the, the pandemic fucked me up for sure let's get that straight that that fuck that pandemic <laughs> uh that yeah but um yeah i don't know how about you dude how about you i've been going on a tangent for like 15 20 minutes <laughs> what, do you mean, what, do you, what do you mean what about me what are you asking i mean for you do you would you consider making new friends hard if just considering that if everyone's an acquaintance and like how yeah, would you how do you prefer making friends yeah i, I think making acquaintances is like really easy but um if you're asking for like a long time friend this stage in life i think it's, it's pretty difficult Mm. other than like uh i mean like the best place would probably be like you know like like a workplace or like a uh some kind of like a recreational place that uh you go to like uh for me i i go to locals i play card games i i'll meet people through there but uh it's all uh because we have similar tastes but <laughs> um, other than that it's like how often am i gonna like like a make like a long time friend at this point right 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 not right. very often right mm -hmm. i see i get your point i get your point mm -hmm. so let's see that goes to ta's question in chat do you guys want new friends let's, let's let's start with you first i always go first uh yes and no because when you have a new friend uh it's not always the case but uh, sometimes they they expect something out of you like like uh like Neron, you want someone to be like consistent, right? Yeah. Sometimes uh not everyone wants to always be consistently there. Like sometimes people just like float around. Mm -hmm. I have friends that, that definitely float around and I still consider them like probably like my best friends. I'm not gonna see them like very often, but uh I still consider them very good friends of mine. And um I've learned to just like not expect much out of other people so yeah yes and no if I were about making new friends so maybe not maybe not a lot of new friends maybe just like you know a sprinkle yeah 
Maybe like good quality friend, sure. There you go. Okay. I'm not like a, I'm not trying to fucking fucking make like a cult or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I like <laughs> Damn that 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 grew real quick, dude. It came from they don't yeah. have like a new a quality friend. Yeah. But, and I'm a, trying to get like a I'm cult. not trying to get like followers or some shit. You know? I'm not trying to follow people. I don't know. I'll say, I'll say like if I, at this point, like I don't want to be, uh, I'd rather not gotcha. make friends with like uh people that have really big friend groups. There you go. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Hopefully if I make a new friend it's like something chill. Yeah. Why why are you feeling attacked in chat? Tell me why. Huh? No no in chat talk. Oh. Oh yeah. no, I'm not feeling attacked. Yeah. No, but why attack. why are you feeling attacked? A cult. <laughs> yeah, no cult. Are you in a cult? <laughs> no. The cult of trading cards and waifus. Yep. Yeah, dude. Camp is part of a cult, but people he doesn't want to be the the reason why there is a cult. Yeah, I don't want that. Dude, I wish dude, I wanna I want there to be a cult about me and my VTuber. There's already a cult about my VTuber. <laughs> I just want to play card games. That's all I want to do, man. It's just very simple. I don't play card games and uh, look at cute anime girls. Hey, that's a that's a great common ground to start off with. But you, yeah. but but along the way, I, that just sounds like there's a lot of degenerates along the way, you know. Yeah, that's uh, not a lot of good quality friends there. You're right. Yeah, my cute anime girl is better than your cute anime girl. You know what? You might be right, but uh, you know what? Just uh, at least. Give me a. Let, let me uh. Let me like my anime girl in peace. That's all I have. <laughs> no, fuck you! I hate your anime girl. Your anime girl is trash. <laughs> yeah, this is why you have shit taste. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the mm -hmm. it's the the hypothetical. Yeah, fuck this guy, dude. I hate him. Yeah, yeah. Zero quality right here. Zero quality, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, do I want to make new friends? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I I do. Um, yeah, that's crazy, man. <sighs> I mean, I, yeah, I want a cult. <laughs> I didn't say that I want. He wants fucking followers, dude. He wants clout. <laughs> no, no, clout. Clout is cool, but it's not. I can I can use my clout to be like, guy. My clout. I have so many. I have personal problems. I can't tell my clout to. <laughs> to support me it's like speaking to a void and then hearing an echo because if you actually have like chamber. a chamber <laughs> it's literally what echo chamber yeah, is yeah it's an echo chamber bro that's why that's, i don't want clout that shit's so fucking stupid uh that's funny fucking fucking stupid uh, that would be like a bad reason to have a cult i mean like yeah i'm right fucking uh, yeah 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 right guys i'm right i'm in the right that person's wrong no dude nah i need friends i'll tell me like no nah, i think you're wrong i'm like all right understandable yeah. Yeah, I think you're kind of dumb. Yep, yeah, I'll definitely tell you that a lot. Yeah, he does. He's told me I'm dumb already. So, yeah, yeah. Um, you're dumb, and you a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Now I'm feeling attacked. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm a, I'm a hoe. <laughs> wanna, want to explain that to me, Mister Kemp? <laughs> no, dude. Oh. Uh, I know Sumimasen Camp Coon Nani. <laughs> no, I just uh, just uh, uh, my coworker at work. He calls everyone a hoe. I was like, okay, uh, I guess I'm a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I uh, I mean, I guess you'll take it, but I won't take it lying down. <laughs> I'm a hoe. Fuck you. <laughs> call me a hoe, and I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to play poker here, and he calls me a hoe. I'm just like, all right understandable <laughs> understandable give me your money <laughs> understandable yeah give me your money yep yep i might be a hoe but i have 20 bucks <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a rich hoe <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my gosh um but yeah yeah for for me um you know it it's not uh and not this isn't uh negative to any of my current friends because I, I love all the people who who are my friends and support me and I can support them in ways that I can. Um, but it's always a, that experience of who else is out there to give me their, 
I won't say not necessarily their life story, but give me a new experience or new outlook or not even just a new outlook, but like who can supplement my, our current lifestyle and continue, like I said, continue to vibe with me and my friends and stuff like that. And like, that's always appreciative. Who else is out there to give me their friend group? Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, look in, look in to steal some friends. Hello. Hey, Mr. Steal your friend. I don't want your girl. I just want your friends. <laughs> Accepting donations? No, 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 no. I mean, it's it's just um, it's just how it is, you know. There, I remember there was one of my one of my close friends um that I met through Circle K in college. She she was trying to get someone's social and of another friend that was in my school from Berkeley. And the reason why she asked me is because I, as a club, we were wearing the same shirt, right? And she was like, "Oh, do you know who this person is? Do like, did you have their number?" I'm like, I, "Yeah." And I was like, "Oh, I was like, yeah, sure. I have this, this, and this. Blah blah blah." I'm like, "What's your name?" And then we became friends, and then we ended up, what's the word, um, bypassing the other friend, and then we became friends. <laughs> we bypassed the other friend, and uh, yeah, we became friends instead um so that was a very interesting uh way to make a friend bypassing yeah bypass my other friends uh how that happened um what yeah that's a different story um but yeah i mean meeting people is just nice dude like i i do think meeting people is very nice um i think maybe meeting people is nice um uh, having them uh be always in my life uh questionable <laughs> questionable yeah, yeah dude oh, like, that's how i see it yeah like the person like the i don't know did you see that post i made when yeah. i was in japan the guy who was the um the uh the uh what's that called the the co- the chef and restaurant owner in japan when i went to kobe yeah i did yeah yeah so like, dude, meeting that guy was a life experience, right? In Japan, had this whole conversation in broken English, broken Japanese, and Google Translate. And I'm like, he was a really cool person to meet. I hope I would like later down the line in my life, I would be able to call him my friend because I came back to see him. You know what I mean? He's I someone that I people. met. I'd be like, cool. This guy, this guy's my friend. <laughs> He's not like an old dude. He's an old dude, but you can't doesn't mean he can't be my friend. Yeah, all right. Might not be there next time. Knock on wood. Okay, <laughs> come on, Kev. Don't say it. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. He's he's 57. <laughs> oh, he's not oh 67. Guy. Something like that. He's something oh, se- um... <laughs> let me let me let me look. It was something seven. Let me double Hold check up. in the number. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. People Knock first, food wood. later. Where is it? He is... He is... 62. Sorry, that wasn't even right. 62. Yeah, he's fine. He's thriving. Yeah, he's so. vibing, dude. He's in Japan. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's in Japan. He's still he's got fine. 20 more years. No, he got 30 more years, dog. Sheesh. Sheesh. Anyways. But yeah, I mean, it would be cool to just, like, uh, meet people. And just through meeting them and having that conversation, be like, oh, yeah, we're, we could be friends. You know? Yeah, I got you. And, like, yeah. right now, you know, I'm trying to expand my horizon of Twitch friends. You know, I'm like, oh... Not just people who show up in my channel. I'm like, I'm going to start being part of people's communities now. Like, actually be active. Because, like, I was pretty active in, like, Kev Jumba's community. And, you know, people knew me as, like, the Smash player and mod and Shoutcaster and them stuff. But now I'm just like, now that community's more or less dead. Right? And I'm like, all right, cool. Time to expand. And I and I, and I found my roots. I'm going to take the Mark route. I'm going to the VTuber route, guys. <laughs> make make friends with all the VTubers here. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to make VTuber friends now. I'm not saying I can't be friends with non-VTubers, but VTubers, no. yeah. You gotta, be, you gotta be a cute anime girl or a boy to be a Neuron's friend now. I mean, you don't have to. It's just, it's just preferred. Preferred. It's <laughs> it's, it's 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 easier. It's wow. easier. Wow. What are these standards? The weeb standards, that's what they are. Weeb standards. These weeb standards. Like I'm 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 gonna half tease this. I've teased this like I might I may or may not be doing like VTuber collabs in the in the 
near future. I don't know. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Uh, yeah, I mean, shit, dude, if you really want to meet new people, uh, all the power. Good luck. I Thanks, meet man. Good people. Thanks, man. I but appreciate yeah, I, it. I, I, I do think there's a thing though, with the internet. Is that, uh, uh, you know how you were saying before that you wanted to, uh, meet mutuals mm -hmm. right like you, you you like have you like being able to meet your mutuals rather than like uh going out of your way to go into like a like a recreational community mm -hmm. um, like going on the internet you might as well be going to recreation activity right explain further elaborate like, like what what's the difference in meeting the quality of people it's like a recreational like i see like like say you, you went to like a sports club I wouldn't is... I wouldn't say it's the quality of people. I think it's the actual interacting. If I don't like someone on the internet, <laughs> all right, I'm gone. <laughs> We're oh, done. Isn't, that the same, isn't that the same thing like a like a sports club? You just stop going. Yeah, but what if you really like the sports club like sports club, right? You know, like you can you but is that the same thing with like a like a Twitch community? What if you really like the creator, but their mods are assholes? Then I can watch them and not interact in chat. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, well, what's the what's the point of meeting me? I'm meeting anyone then. I mean, then that then that wouldn't be the community I want to want to be in. Yeah, you, know? you you might as well just watch a basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's, it's like let's say let's say here here's the thing with the internet the the internet there's more options right it's like. Let's just take the, the example that I gave earlier. Let's say I go yeah, into the yeah. VTuber community. There's like hundreds, if not thousands, of fucking VTubers on Twitch, right? right. But there might only be like two would local say, rec leagues here. Yeah, would you say it's oversaturated? <laughs> yeah, I, def I definitely think it's oversaturated. Uh, yeah, no. That's but, right. I think, um, but I think... You're, it, you're right. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, yeah, that's right. I think the variety is uh, definitely up there. Um, that is uh, one of the selling points of uh, meeting people on the internet yeah dude so I... it's, it's a bigger bigger pond yeah like you can you can definitely hopefully find a community that will suit what you would want right yeah it's, it's a it's a it's a good and a bad thing yeah um, exactly exactly yeah so sometimes uh it, I, I like to think of the internet as like a like a like a like a big trash can <laughs> oh shit like, oh my people. god and uh the the people they meet there you 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 kind of like rummaging through the trash <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh you find a uh, diamond oh my god this fucking analogy everyone's trash but me oh uh, i mean i didn't say that but <laughs> i mean I, I'm, I'm i'm in the trash can too right no nah, no nah. you're not in the trash can if you're the one digging through it uh, I mean, it's a big trash can, so I might as well be in the dumpster with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I guess that's one way of framing it, but still, um, yeah, I think there's there's just so many, right? You know, like you said, it's a bad thing, for in in some cases, but yeah, it's a good and a bad thing. Yep. But but let's say vice versa. Let's let's go to the real world example, right? Let's say you, there's a bar that's like really nice. You like the ambiance, but it's very clicky, right? Because it's like there's regulars, right? Yep. What if you don't click with the regulars? Is that is that bar still worth going to? Like, sure, you can have a drink and stuff, but you're not gonna make new friends, you know? Uh, or like a or like a rec league. You like the facility and what they offer, but you don't like the people that show up there and play basketball or whatever. You know what right. I mean? Like, but. Right. And the, the downside to, like, the Rec League example specifically is there's only so many numbers of Rec Leagues for a certain sport or activity in your area, right? Without right. Go, without making it a complete hassle to go out of your way distance-wise. Versus, like, a bar, sure, there's, like, dozens of bars, right? Like, it really depends on your scope of how narrow of what you, is what you're trying to do. You know, like I said, VTubers, streamers on the internet, broad as fuck um people who play volleyball on the beach who are open to new beginners and teaching stuff you know 
significantly less in our area. Not impossible, but significantly harder. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, it, like it's all in relative to the scope of what you're trying to find and how you're trying to find it. So that's why for me, it's harder to do stuff because, like I said, I'm living myself not only because of mutual surrenders, but because of my my personal schedule and things that I prioritize in my life. Also, just compound, not necessarily compounding, but compiling on top of that to make it more difficult um, in the short term, per se. So, again, personal problem, personal problem. I get it. Not not everyone's problem, but there might be someone who might uh, sympathize with me or empathize with me, whatever, whichever <laughs> word is correctly. I know one of those is right, if not both. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just how it is for my current state i'm working out three times a week now like super hard and you know i'm the best shape of my life that i've ever been to be completely honest i look i look great <laughs> i look go. i look great fuck Confidence yeah is the first step now. exactly i look great um but the thing is i'm just like you know i game i stream i cook go to work i'm like fuck i have to drop something to make new friends more consistently <laughs> you know what i mean so with 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 and that's already come not including continuing to maintain the friends that i already have you know i don't want to like double book myself which which sometimes i do and but you know that's different because those are existing friends so right yeah but i don't know that's just me ranting about like this is how i take a broad subject and relate it to me and be like fuck this is my problem, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is like this is like classic welcome to my stream type of shit, right? I'm like, fuck, this is my problem, guys. This is my problem, but how do I solve it? How, how do I solve help? it? <laughs> chat, chat, chat doesn't help. Yeah, chat, chat never helps. <laughs> this is this is how I just rant about problems. Like, camp, I need to talk to you. Friends are making making friends are hard. Chat. <laughs> How? <laughs> Make it harder. Make it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. And Kep, you're like, just make friends, dude. It's, just, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, true. Dude, just get good. <laughs> just get good, guys. Come on, man. What's so hard about that? Just get good. Dude. Just get good. It's not that hard. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> But yeah, I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about in terms of like making friends um, or what you don't like about making friends? It doesn't have to be positive. It can be negative. You can talk about your problems if you have any. I don't really have any problems about making friends, but um, if you have a hard time making friends, I don't say it always works, but uh, Uh, would you would you say that you're 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 a uh, you're a real person? Like, I are, are you very uh uh out there about how you interact with uh with people? Mm. Like, are, are you hiding anything when you when you when you meet meet someone for the first time? Real person? Yeah. Are you a real? <laughs> Guys, this is exactly what I mean. Chat doesn't help. <laughs> um, sorry. Re can you restate the question? Sorry. Like, are you hiding anything when you when you meet someone for the first time? Am I hiding anything? Yeah, I'm hiding a quest that 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 <laughs> it's an NPC that people need to <laughs> solve. Um, no, it's more like well, I'm saying I'm saying I'm not necessarily hiding anything. It's just like. How do I say this? I don't want to play all my cards, but if they ask about it, I don't mind playing said cards. You know what I, I mean? Think I think that's smart. Yeah, uh, I, I I definitely don't think you should be playing all your cards um, when you meet someone. Because I wouldn't say I specialize in anything in super particular, right? So this is just a, a, how I view myself personally. I would consider myself a very slightly above average person. Like when I say very, I mean like I'm a generally well-rounded person, right? Like I, I do sports. I like music. I work out. I like video games. I stream. I'm a weeb. 
I like cars. You know, nature is cool. Photography, traveling, like I'm, I would consider myself relatively well rounded in terms of the Western culture, right? Well, this I'm guy a, really is a he really is a floater. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I mean. I'm a jack of all trades, but the issue with that is because I don't necessarily specialize in one certain thing. I don't necessarily feel like if I were to tell someone that I'm meeting like all of these things at all at once. Right. It's like, Oh, that feel like that would just be very overwhelming. I'm like, Oh, this guy just does a lot. It's very, how am I going to take this all in? Where do I connect with him? Right. Whereas it's like, if I can connect to your stuff and we find that mutual ground rather than, you know, like I said, playing all those cards and all those, just laying everything out. Then I'm just like, that's just a lot to take in. And, um, I mean, it's just always starts always start off small for me. I start off small before I expand upon um, everything else. You know, like people will if you're if you want to be friends, then you'll find about these other things about me sooner or later, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just how it is. It's like, oh, you like music? Cool. Oh, you like this type of video game? Cool. I I play that type of video game. Hey, you like Suisei? <laughs> hey, fuck yeah, bro. You like Crony? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah. You like lightsabers? Oh, did I tell you I want to buy a lightsaber? You want to buy a lightsaber? I'm going to get I want to buy a lightsaber. You've been to Disneyland how many times do you haven't bought a lightsaber? No, I'm going to get a nice lightsaber. Not that oh. Disney lightsaber. Wait, I thought they had the nice ones at Disneyland. They have... They're, for the price, it's not really worth it. Oh, they're okay. okay. They're okay. For like someone's oh, very nice first lightsaber, yeah. you don't want to you don't want to splurge on it. Yeah, I'll sh I'll show you what I want here. I'll put, I'll put it. We'll we'll talk about this in the post podcast show. Sure, dude. I, I didn't know you were a Star Wars fan like that. I you wasn't. Just, you, oh, but you, you just want a lightsaber. Yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fair. So, um, yeah. What about you, dude? How do you, how would you answer your own question? Wait, what? What was that question? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, um, uh, no, no, I, I, I'm pretty similar. I, I'm definitely like uh, hiding some cards. Uh, yeah, half like fake it till you make it kind of thing. If I really want that person to be my friend, right? I mean, but if are you real? Okay, so then let me follow that question up with this. Maybe, uh, maybe that wasn't the correct thing to say. Yeah, I was gonna be like, <laughs> are they? Do you real? Are they really gonna be a good friend if you're faking it though? Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe faking is a not not, not the, the right word. Thing. Yeah, man, not, not, not the right word. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe, um, yeah, maybe just yeah, not 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 playing everything out there. Yeah, because if if I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm put my 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 good self out there. Right? I'm gonna put I'm put a good camera angle. <laughs> your, your good side yeah the good side yeah for me um i'm not necessarily hide the thing that i would hide is if they're not a, a person that i would like to interact with or like i wouldn't i feel like we wouldn't be good friends i would hide what i really feel about them <laughs> be like oh yeah that's cool it's pretty awesome and then i'll i'll obviously keep the conversation because i can do that but i'll be like God, I don't like talking to this person. <laughs> I won't say I won't say I won't say that to them. Um but that mean but 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 by that same virtue, if I tell you that I like you as a friend, that means I do I legitimately do like you as a friend. Like, oh, you deserve to know that you're you're awesome and I'd like to have you in my life. You know? So, if you're watching this and you know and I've told you that for sure for sure, damn, you're you're a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, that's about it. Has anyone told you that they loved you today? If not, I love you. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I love you too. Man. Yeah, I'll, I'll be that homie to you. I'll be that friend. You know. Uh -huh. I'll. That's that's the that's the same thing. Like I I'll just be transparent with my friends as much as I want to, and yeah, usually yeah. when I want to be transparent, it'll be pretty transparent. You answering hunger. I am an NPC when I go out. <laughs> I have like I have like an auto response in my system when like when I'm going out and I have to like meet new people. <clears throat> Hi, what's your name? 
and I'm, uh, half the time I just ignore what they respond. <laughs> <laughs> This guy has set dialogue choices. This guy is, oh my gosh. He's like, what's my name? I immediately forget. <laughs> You're like, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> I, you, and you answer with what you do. <laughs> nice. Yeah. He doesn't care about what I do. I saw him anyway. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Okay. That was funny. Uh-uh. <sighs> all right well i think that was a good introspective episode today um yeah i mean we'll we'll go into a sh- relatively short post podcast show and uh are, did you want to play aram after this sure i'll play aram after this wonderful wonderful we'll play some arams um, but yeah, any any final words, thoughts, shout outs, plugs you want to do before we head to the post podcast show? Um not really go play Honkai, Star Rail, go play Genshin, um, support Hoyo or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> don't spend money that you can't spend. Oh right. and uh uh I hope I meet some cool people in Vancouver next week. Yeah, make some new friends. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a personal problem, guys. It's a personal. He doesn't want to build a cult. It's not you guys. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Um, well, there's his Hoyo plug for the podcast. There it is. Um, yeah, I love Hoyo. Spalding High YouTube. Yeah. Um, that said, everyone, thanks for stopping by. If you're watching on YouTube and you watched all the way through, tell me what comment what uh oh fuck dude how do i make something your friend how many how many friends you have <laughs> no that's a bad that's a bad thing to question type a number in the comment section <laughs> and if they get it then you get it if not then whatever I, then again no one ever answers these questions in in the post in the post podcast in the youtube video anyways no one ever watches all the way through in comments maybe like one person one person commented it was like Aaron. and Aaron commented <laughs> because he was he was watching the episode and then i posted it the next day and he commented anyways because he remembered the comment that's the all out of like the 129 episodes 28 episodes we've done before this i think that's the only time someone has ever commented at the end anyways that's not important that's just a small little quip um anyways again thanks everyone for watching this episode of neon podcast um yeah i hope you guys make smart choices stay safe i love you and stick around if you're on stream for the post podcast show we'll talk about chicago style hot dogs and lightsabers and other stuff um and like how it's about me and not you you know um (laughs) 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 and then we'll probably do like a couple games of aram because it's a it's a wednesday so oh yeah thanks guys bye youtube bye